Hi, I'm Stephen Pine. And I'm Johnny Fido, and welcome to At, At the, the UVs. UVs. The internet show that reviews the movies that you put on the internet. That's right. If you're going to upload them, then we're going to review them. So let's get straight to our first movie. It's no secret in Hollywood, if you're a beautiful woman and want to win an Oscar, you've usually got to make yourself unattractive. Charlize Theron did this in Monster in 2003, Nicole Kidman did it in The Hours in 2002, and Javier Bardem did it in No Country for Old Men in 2008. And actress-slash-director Anya Lee makes her attempt at being an unattractive man in the Redneck Hunter franchise, Redneck Hunter 2. In the movie, Anya's character, Dwayne Cooley, a seasoned deer hunter, must choose between his wife, played off-camera by an F-150 pickup truck, and his recent purchase of a new deer-calling device. The movie attempts to capitalize on the success of the Blair Witch Project in its cinematic style. Here's a clip. I was disappointed by Redneck Hunter 2 simply because it couldn't decide if it wanted to be a horror movie, a romantic comedy, or as we just saw, a musical. As much as I enjoyed watching Anya's performance, I'd have deleted this link. I don't know, Johnny. There's something to the RHD that leaves me wanting more. More of what? I'm not so sure. Now, I saw this film for what I think the director wants it to be. A comedy about women hunters living in a cabin alone with no one to shoot ducks for. Does it get any more slapstick than that? It's a throwback to the old Doris Day Rock Hudson films, just without the Rock Hudson character. Great for relieving cabin fever, and I am going to share this video. Well, that's it for At The UVs. Join us next week when we'll be reviewing... Installment number 278 of Charles and Allie's Life on the Internet. Two filmmakers who think, somehow, watching them every day is going to be fascinating. Until then, we'll see you at the UVs.